All right. Hey there, and welcome to this episode where we're going to talk about the idea of normalizing anxiety. So um, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Matt Cotty, and I am the founder of Restored Minds and the creator of the AAA Response. If you're looking for help and resources and guidance on your journey of recovery, please make sure to check out the links in the notes. Um, you can also head over to Restored Minds as we have various resources to help you. So please go ahead and check those out, as well as if you could help us out by liking and subscribing if you're joining us via YouTube. Or if you're joining us via podcast, um, please leave us a nice review over on iTunes and Spotify as it helps the algorithm, the show, and helps us get this information to more people that need it. Um, so moving forward, let's talk about this idea of normalizing anxiety. Um, one of the things that keeps people stuck in, in the loop is the fact that they believe that feeling anxiety or having intrusive thoughts is abnormal and an indication of a disorder. And what I try to stress and, and really preach and teach, if you will, is that the disorder comes when we believe those are abnormal and then we do behaviors to try to get rid of them and that creates the loop that then essentially keeps our nervous system stuck in the fight or flight response in the sympathetic state. And being in that state creates disorder in our life because it becomes very hard to function when our nervous system is just activated the whole time. Now, the, the, the experience of anxiety is not the abnormal part. The abnormal part is our resistance to it and then getting stuck in that state because we're engaging in behaviors that are actually keeping us stuck in that state. That is what creates disorder. The presence of the feelings is not the disorder. And when we think the presence of anxiety is abnormal, we are going to do things to try to get rid of it and then paradoxically get stuck. And so when we're able to normalize the experience of anxiety internally, that is a critical turning point in a person's quote unquote recovery. And I use that term with, and the reason I say quote unquote is because a lot of people think recovery means the absence of anxiety. And that's just simply not true, right? Recovery is breaking out of the loop. And the way we break out of the loop is the absence of all behaviors. That's why in our taking back control program, like what we teach so thoroughly and, and we really just hammer home is the idea that our goal is to be compulsion free, behavior free. And if we do that successfully, that's what breaks the loop. And we know that works. What most people do is they either, they don't want to commit to that. So they keep trying to chase no thoughts and no feelings. That's what really gets a lot of people stuck. Or they don't want to eliminate all of them, right? So they want to hold on to certain ones. Or, you know, they, um, they just don't know that they're doing certain behaviors. And this is where I think a, a large majority of people fall is they are engaging in safety behaviors and don't even realize they're doing it. And that's what's keeping them stuck. And again, one of the, the tricks, so to speak, of recovery is normalizing the exact experiences that we believe are abnormal that we're trying to get rid of and stop. And if we can really do that and really get to the point where we feel comfortable being uncomfortable and we're able to experience the exact things we don't want to experience. And that happens through again, exposure and, and all the tools that you learn on this journey. It's not as simple as just telling yourself that you're comfortable with something, but there's actually ways and processes where in tools that you can learn how to do this. The, the whole paradox is once you actually become okay, experiencing anxiety, and you, you don't see it as abnormal, you experience it less and less and less and less. This is, this is the whole paradox of this thing. And once, once you see that this can really happen, it's, it's much easier to commit to doing the tools when understanding, when, when you're understanding what the tools are really designed to do. 
most people, they're trying to use the tools to stop anxiety and stop thoughts. They're trying to say, well, I'm going to go do ERP. Or I'm going to go use the AAA response and I'm going to stop my thoughts. I'm going to stop my feelings. And that doesn't work. That's not what they're designed to do. They're designed to break the loop itself. And getting this point is, is critical to someone's success because most of the times people are working way harder than they need to be putting all this effort in to try to stop something that's actually a normal experience. It's like you trying to stop your food from digesting. It's just, you know, there, there's just a, the, the law of reversed effort kind of comes in here, right? Where it's like all the effort you're putting forth into trying to stop anxiety makes you experience anxiety more. All the effort you're trying to put in to trying to stop intrusive thoughts uh, you know, makes you experience them more. And what happens is once we actually begin to understand what, that they are normal experiences. And oftentimes that it's a result of an accumulation of feelings that we're storing in our body. And once we learn how to really process feelings and release feelings, um, you know, like we, we teach in depth, it's like your nervous system balances out and it knows how to do that very naturally. And this is why the first step is really being able to normalize feeling anything that you're feeling in your body and not look at it as disorder or not disorder, but really just see that there's these feelings that, that we experience as humans and that that's a normal process. And so normalizing is just a huge, huge thing when it comes to your recovery and really understanding that these feelings are normal and they're not an indication of a disorder. And so that step and that point is, is my, my hope is you really get that because it can be just so transformational on your journey. And again, if you're looking for help and guidance and resources on how to really implement this stuff in your life, because that's what's really going to cause transformation, um, please check out the links in the notes, head over to restoredminds.com, contact us, um, because, you know, we, we really, can help you put this into practice. So thank you so much for uh, taking the time to be with us today. I hope this episode was helpful and I wish you guys a great week. See you soon. Hey there. So if you enjoyed that video, we've linked up a few more videos that we think you'd find helpful as well. And if you have found this helpful, we'd really appreciate your support by liking and subscribing. And if you're looking for help and guidance, please check out restoredminds.com as we have several options for you to get started. See you guys soon.